Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is the least amount of RAM we can get Windows 7 to run on. So, previously, I've done operating systems like Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows XP, and Windows ME. However, I feel like I want to try Windows 7. What is the least amount of RAM that Windows 7 can actually boot and run on? I feel like this will be interesting, especially because of the arrow effects that Windows has, and I feel like it's going to be interesting. Personally, I don't believe we're going to get below 204 megabytes, as that is what Windows 8.1, I believe, wouldn't boot on. So currently, this virtual machine that I have configured is running on 1 gigabyte of RAM and a 2-core i7-10700K. So, as we can see, just navigating already with 1 gigabyte of RAM and arrow enabled, it's ridiculously slow. Um, so, this is going to be interesting to see how this works. We're going to go ahead and open the virtual machine settings and go ahead and just slash this amount in half. The guest OS recommended minimum is one gigabyte, which we've just went down from. So now we're going to try and boot Windows 7 on 512 megabytes. I believe that this is going to work. However, I think it's going to disable arrow. And if it disables arrow, that's totally fine because I really don't expect it to work on 512 megabytes of RAM. All right, so here we are on Windows 7 on 512 megabytes of RAM. Arrow is still surprisingly enabled, and it is running. It's laggy. This isn't the screen recorder. This is actually VMware lagging, and but it's still functional. I mean, I bet we can probably open up Chrome, wherever it may be, Google Chrome, and probably browse the internet. Chrome is known for being a memory hog. Um, just taking a look at one tab open, not even loading anything. We are 506, we're using 500 megabytes of memory. Just opening up the web store, watching this, 508, we're really pushing it, 507, we are pushing the memory. So, already just in Chrome, we're pushing that memory limit, but th that's the whole point of this. We're here to see what we can do. So again, now that we know that that works, I'm going to go ahead and just drop this. I'm not slashing it in half. Let's just go to 306. I feel like that is a good amount if it'll let us go to that. No, we have to go to 304. So 304 megabytes. I don't want to drop it the whole way down in half simply because Windows 7 only got to 204. Um, but I didn't want to go too like not low so i feel like 304 is a good sweet spot to go to i just like to point out that every time we start this vm it gets slower and slower and slower and we've just blue screened 304 megabytes and we have blue screened okay let's up this just to 400 and see if we can boot on that and if we get into 400 i'm just going to go ahead and disable arrow but it looks like we're booting in the windows 7 on 400 megabytes we are booting uh, Okay, 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 we've made it. We are in Windows 7 on 400 megabytes of RAM. Now again, this is a 64-bit version of the operating system. So, okay, let's go ahead in the computer, or not computer, sorry. We're gonna go to Control Panel and go ahead and change the theme. Do we wanna go for Windows Classic or Windows Basic? Let's go with Windows 7 Basic because that looks the most like Windows 7. Okay, now that we are in this, we're going to go ahead and shut down. And let's try to go to something like 350. So we're just going to drop 50 megabytes. Also, I feel like this could impact it. So let's just give it one core. And let's see if we can go like 350 or whatever the closest. So 350. All right, so we have to go to 352. We can't go to 350. I think disabling arrow actually helped. And it's still very snappy, very responsive, um, especially without arrow. Um, trying to right click on the taskbar, there we go, task manager, 340 megabytes, let's go ahead and just stress test this and open a Chrome tab. So it's basically not even loading at this point, it's loading very slowly and we are really pushing it right here at 345 megabytes, 349. It, it, it's really getting pushed to its limit, so I'm not going to make this suffer any longer. I'm going to power off this VM, and we're going to drop down to 332. And again, we are still loading into our desktop. That was quicker than ever. Take a look at Task Manager. We are really pushing it right now, but okay, that worked just to see because as I we know it blue screened at 304, so if I try 308, maybe this will boot. We're in, and it's still snappy. 
Okay, maybe went in her task, but there we go. Okay, so shutting back down again. Let's go to 304, which is what we previously crashed on, and let's power it on. I'm hoping it doesn't crash because that would be embarrassing. But here we are, 304 megabytes booted into Windows where we previously blue screened. Let's open control panel. Things are slowing down now, but okay. I think we can go down just straight 256. Let's go 256. So that's half of 512. That's where we were probably five minutes ago. Let's see if it boots on this. We are in the Windows 7 desktop. It's still loading. Maybe Windows 7 wasn't as heavy of an operating system as I once thought. It's actually doing pretty good right now. It's, it's gonna work. It worked. Maybe not. If this works, I'm gonna be really shocked. It worked. 250 megabytes. Idling, 254, 250, with arrow on. Um, again, I don't think we're gonna get to get to, I don't think we're gonna get to go to arrow anymore after this. So let's go ahead, shut this down. Let's try 204, 204. Simply because this is 100 megabytes under 304, which is where we previously blue screened. And this is what Windows 8.1 booted on. So Windows 8.1 at 204 booted, but at 200, it did not. And at 204, we have blue screened. So we are somewhere in between 220 and 204. That is where our limit lies. So let's just try 212. I feel like this might be interesting to see if we can boot on 212. 212 megabytes here. So our only thing left to try is 208. And if 208 doesn't work, then our limit is 212. And if 208 works, then we can try 204 again. But I really don't think that this is going to work. Okay, so we have blue screened on 208 megabytes of RAM, meaning that our limit for Windows 7 is 212 megabytes, meaning that in this series, every operating system that I've tried, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows XP, and Windows ME have all ran lower than this. This is our most RAM intensive operating system that we've tried coming in at 212 megabytes, which I kind of expected considering that we have Arrow and this operating system isn't exactly a lightweight operating system. With that being said, 212 megabytes is the least amount of RAM that we can get Windows 7 to boot on. And even now it's still, still, it's not turning on. Even though I disabled Arrow, I shut it down the right way. I'm not really sure what to do here, but earlier in the video, we had it on 212. I'm 99% sure it was 212. I mean, I can try 220, but yeah, this is not ideal. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations and just random experiments like this one. So with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.